and recording in on progress. Facebook. And we'll begin with our time of praise and worship. You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give by your plan. That's just the way it is. You're not a God. You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give by your plan. That's just the way it is. You are God alone. You are God alone. From before time began, you were on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. You're the only God. You're the only God whose power none can contend you're the only god whose name and praise will never end you're the only god who's worthy of everything we can give you are god that's just the way it is you're god alone you are god alone from before time began you were on your throne you are God alone And right now In the good times and bad You are on your throne You are God alone You are God You are God alone From before time began You are on your throne You are God alone And right now in the good times and bad you are on your throne you are god alone you're unchangeable you're unchangeable you're unshakable you're unstoppable that's what you are you're unchangeable you're unshakable you're unstoppable, that's what you are. You're unchangeable. You're unchangeable. You're unshakable. You're unstoppable, that's what you are. You're unchangeable. You're unshakable. You're unstoppable, that's what you are. You are God. You are God alone. From before time began, you were on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. You are God. You are God alone. From before time began, you are on your throne. You are God alone And right now In the good times and bad You are on your throne You are God alone You're unchangeable You're unshakable You're unstoppable That's what you are You're unchangeable you're unshakable, you're unstoppable, that's what you are.
Take my life that I may be Consecrated, Lord, to Thee Take my moments and my days Let them flow in ceaseless praise Take my life that I may be Consecrated, Lord, to Thee Take my moments and my days Let them flow in ceaseless praise Take my hands Take my hands and let them move At the impulse of your love Take my feet and let them be Swift and beautiful for thee Take my life and let it be Consecrated, Lord, to Thee Take my moments and my days Let them flow in ceaseless praise Take my silver Take my silver and my gold Not a mite would I withhold Take my lint, elect and use every power that shall choose. Take my life that I may be consecrated, Lord, to Thee. Take my moments and my days, let them flow in ceaseless praise. Take my voice, take my voice and let me sing Always only for my King Take my lips and let them be filled with messages from Thee Take my life that I may be Consecrated, Lord, to Thee Take my moments and my days let them flow in endless praise. Take my will. Take my will and make it thine. It shall be no longer mine. Take my heart, it is thine own. It shall be thy royal throne. Take my life that I may be. Consecrated, Lord, to Thee Take my moments and my days Let them flow in ceaseless praise Take my life, take my life That I may be Consecrated, Lord, to Thee Take my moments and my days Let them flow in ceaseless praise Build up, prepare the way, remove the obstructions from my people's way. Build up, prepare the way, God is near, God is here today. Break the chains of injustice Let the oppressed go free Share our homes with the homeless And our bread with the hungry Build up, prepare the way Remove the obstructions from my people's way Build up Prepare the way, God is near, God is here today. God sees, God sees all our destruction, how we get in love's way. 
Still God comes and meets us with a steady healing embrace. Build up, <clears throat> prepare the way, remove the obstructions from my people's way. Build up, prepare the way, God is near, God is here today. Then your light, then your light will break forth like the dawn. And your healing will break into song. Build up, prepare the way, remove the obstructions from my people's way. Build up. Prepare the way, God is near, God is here today. Build up, build up, prepare the way, remove the obstructions from my people's way. Build up, prepare the way, God is near, God is here today. for our walk in this world they resound with God's own heart oh let the ancient words impart words of life words of hope give us strength help us cope in this world where'er we roam ancient words will guide us home ancient words ancient words ever true changing me and changing you we have come with open hearts all that the ancient words impart Holy words, holy words of our faith, handed down to this age, came to us through sacrifice. Oh, heed the faithful words of Christ. Martyr's blood stains each page, they have died. For this faith, hear them cry through the years. Heed these words and hold them dear. Ancient words, ancient words, ever true. Changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words impart. Ancient words ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words impart. We have come, we have come, with open hearts, oh, let the ancient words impart. Oh, let the ancient words impart.
We gather this morning to hear those ancient words, but also to be moved by the Spirit who is blowing here and now. It is good to have you all with us, whether you are joining us here in person, live on Zoom, or on Facebook, or YouTube. I'm Pastor Leslie Weber, and it is my pleasure to serve here at Grace Lutheran Church in Chesapeake, Virginia. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to download our bulletin. It's found on our website under the Calendars tab on the News and Upcoming Events page. There you also can find all of the login information for our various online gatherings throughout the week. I, incur I invite you to stand as you are able and let us come before God to confess our sin. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God whose teaching is life, whose presence is sure, and whose love is endless. Amen. Let us confess our sin to the one who welcomes us with an open heart. God, our comforter, like lost sheep, we have gone astray. We gaze upon abundance and see scarcity. We turn our faces away from injustice and oppression. We exploit the earth with our apathy and greed. Free us from our sin, gracious God. Listen when we call out to you for help. Lead us by your love to love our neighbors as ourselves. Amen. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But by the gift of grace in Christ Jesus, God makes you righteous. Receive with glad hearts the forgiveness of all of your sins. Amen. Let us sing together our gathering song. It is number 688 from the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal, Lord of Light. The words will be projected on your screen. The music is available in the hymnal and in the bulletin, which, as I said, can be downloaded from our website. If you're joining us on Zoom, we ask that you mute yourselves, but still sing along at home. Lord of light, your name outshining All the stars and suns of space Use our talents where your kingdom As the servants of your grace Use us to fulfill your purpose in the gift of Christ, your Son. Father, as in highest heaven, so on earth your will be done. By the toil of faithful workers, in some far outlying field by the courage where the radiance of the cross is still revealed by the voices of the shadow through the approach and suffering one Father, as in highest heaven, so on earth your will be done. Grant that knowledge still increasing at your feet may lowly kneel. 
with your grace our triumphs hallow peace and charity our zeal lift the nations from the shadows to the gladness of the sun father as in highest heaven so on earth your will be done by the prayers of faithful watchers never silent day or night by the cross of jesus bringing peace to all and healing light by the love that passes knowledge to ch your children one father as in highest heaven so on earth your will be done The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And all, and all with you. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, increase in us the gift of faith, that forsaking what lies behind and reaching out to what lies ahead, we may follow the way of your commandments, and receive the crown of everlasting joy. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. You may be seated for our readings. <coughs> Seek the Lord and live, or he will break out against the house of Joseph like fire, and it will devour Bethel with no one to quench it. Ah, you that turn justice to wormwood and bring righteousness to the ground. They hate the one who reproves in the gate, and they abhor the one who speaks the truth. Therefore, because you trample on the poor and take from the levies of grain, you have built houses of hewn stone, but you shall not live in them. You have planted pleasant vineyards, but you shall not drink their wine. For I know how many are your transgressions, and how great are your sins, you who afflict the righteous, who take a bribe and push aside the needy in the gate. Therefore, the prudent will keep silent in such a time, for it is an evil time. Speak good and not evil, that you may live, and so the Lord, the, the God of hosts, will be with you, just as you have said. Hate evil and love good, and establish justice in the gate. It may be that the Lord, the God of hosts, will be gracious to the remnant of Joseph. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Let us recite together Psalm 90 verses 12 through 17 as translated in the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long will you tarry? Be gracious to your servants. Satisfy us by your steadfast love in the morning. So shall we rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad as many days as you afflicted us and as many years as we suffered adversity. Show your servants your works and your splendor to their children. May the graciousness of the Lord our God be upon us. Prosper the work of our hands, prosper our handiwork. A reading from Hebrews. Indeed, the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing until it divides soul from spirit, joints from marrow. It is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart, and before him no creature is hidden, but all are naked and laid bare to the eyes of the one to whom we must render an account. Since then, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast to our confession, 
for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who in every respect has been tested as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Word of God, word of life, thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not defraud, honor your father and mother. He said to him, teacher, I have kept all of these since my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said, you lack one thing, go, sell what you own, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When he heard this, he was shocked and went away grieving, for he had many possessions. Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were perplexed at these words. But Jesus said to them again, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were greatly astounded and said to one another, then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For mortals it is impossible, but not for God. For God all things are possible. Peter began to say to him, Look, we have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, Truly I tell you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for my sake and for the sake of the good news who will not receive a hundredfold now in this age houses, brothers, sisters, mothers, and children and fields with persecutions. And in the age to come, eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. I invite you to be seated and our youth and young at heart to come forward at this time.
Good morning. How are y'all doing? You doing good, Hunter? Eh. I've got another story for you from the Bible. This is about a rich man who has a question. So the rich man asked Jesus, what do I have to do for God to love me forever? I think I'm doing everything God wants me to do, so will God always love me? Jesus said, sell everything you have, give all the money to the poor, and then come follow me. The rich man was shocked. Sell everything? He had lots and lots of stuff. So he walked away from Jesus. Jesus said, it's hard for greedy people to enter the kingdom of God. In fact, it's easier for a lumpy, bumpy camel to walk through the itty bitty eye of a needle. Think, big camel, itty bitty eye of a needle. It is easier for a camel to walk through the itty bitty eye of a needle. But don't forget, for God, all things are possible. God loves us always, and no matter what. Nothing we do gets us God's love, and there is nothing that we can do to lose God's love. It is forever. That's some of the best news I've ever heard. It's not up to me to follow all the rules, because if we're honest, I can't. Do you follow all the rules at home and at school? All of them? You are better than me. I don't, but I know that God still loves me. And even if there is some day that you don't listen to your teacher or your parents or your pastor, God still loves you no matter what. Thanks for coming up. Let us pray together. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our heart acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Although at one point in my childhood, I knew that I was going to be a lawyer, that didn't work out. I am not a family law lawyer. I am not a probate judge. So this is my unprofessional opinion. But when I hear the question, what do I have to do to inherit? I think to myself, nothing. As the one who inherits, there's nothing to be done. The benefactor has to do all the work. They welcome you into the fold whether it's into the family through birth or adoption, or whether it's into the the chosen family as an acquaintance, a friend, right? The benefactor lets you into their family, makes you part of those who will inherit. To make things smoother, hopefully the benefactor actually writes you into the will in some legally binding form. And then the final thing that the benefactor has to do for you to inherit is to die. But the benefactor does everything. Now you could argue that you as the one who is going to inherit has to work to build up the relationship enough to get added to the will in the first place especially if you're not a direct family member. Or at least you have to not do anything to cause yourself to be removed from the will. 
But ultimately, inheriting is by definition a pretty passive process. The same is true when it comes to God's family and inheriting eternal life. God creates us. God welcomes us into the family. Sure, we announce it publicly at baptism, but God did it way back when you were still being knit together in the womb. There's not even anything that we can do to get ourselves kicked out God's family, or written out of the will. That is how much God loves us. The man in the story says that he has followed all the commandments that Jesus lists from his youth. But did you notice? He only lists commandments 4 through 10 by Luther's numbering system all of those that have to do with us and God's people. But Jesus doesn't list one through three, which deals with our relationship with God. In the story, Jesus seems to suggest that the man's possessions are getting in the way of him loving God fully. Hence the suggestion to go sell everything and follow him. So maybe for you, possessions are also that thing that gets in the way, that gets between you and God. Or maybe it's something else. A couple of weeks ago, we heard scripture that suggested that if something separates you from God, you might cut it out. It's a, it's a helpful question to ask ourselves. What is it that we might need to cut out of our life? But answering that questions or even following the commandments, those tasks are not the goal. God gives us the Ten Commandments, the 613 commandments, depending on how you number them, not as a list of tasks to complete, but as a roadmap to transformation. They are guidance on how we might better be in relationship with God and God's people. But following the commandments are not an end to themselves. God invites us to live into the transformation that comes with God's kingdom here and now by following the lead. Whether it's through the commandments or the moving of the spirit. But none of these tasks are prerequisites for God's love. Notice in the story today, Jesus looks at the man and loves him even though there are things getting in the way of the man loving, trusting, and following God fully. Likewise, even without transformation, God looks at us and loves each and every one of us despite our continued sinfulness. Because if we're honest, it is impossible at times for us to, humans to love people who have trespassed against us. But nothing is impossible for God. To earn an inheritance is not possible for you, but nothing is impossible for God. And even if you, like me, have not kept all the commandments from my youth, God still looks at you and loves you. Invites you into transformation, sure. But before any of that, loves you. God welcomes you into God's family. God writes you into the will. Jesus died 
so that you might inherit. God's inheritance for us is not contingent on anything that we do. It is 100% a pure gift from God. What must you do to inherit eternal life? Nothing. God took care of it. Amen. As we give thanks for that good news, we can strive to live into that transformation that God guides us to. And so in that vein, let us sing our song of the day, Take My Life That I May Be. It is hymn number 583 from the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal. Again, the words will be projected on your screen. The music is available in the hymnal and in the bulletin. Please stand as you are able. Take my life that I may be Consecrated, Lord, to Thee Take my moments and my days Let them flow in ceaseless praise Take my hands and let them move At the impulse of Thy love Take my feet and let them be swift and beautiful for thee. Take my life that I may be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my moments and my days. Let them flow in ceaseless praise. Take my silver and my gold, not a mite would I withhold. Take my feet and let them be swift and beautiful shoes. Take my life that I may be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my moments and my days, let them flow in ceaseless praise. Take my voice and let me sing Always only for my King Take my lips and let them be Filled with messages from Thee Take my life and I may be Consecrated, Lord, to Thee Take my moments and my days Let them flow in ceaseless praise Take my will and make it thine, it shall be no longer mine. Take my heart, it is thine own, it shall be thy royal throne. Take my life that I may be, consecrated Lord to thee. Take my moments and my days, let them flow in ceaseless praise. With the whole church, let us confess our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Made children and heirs of God's promise, we pray for the church, the world, and all in need. Help us, O Lord, to hear your word. Help in our hearts to feel your word. Give us the strength to live your words each day. Uniting God, you call forth different gifts in those who follow you. Encourage us to welcome the diverse benefits and blessings of the whole church in teaching, preaching, prophecy, healing, and more. Nurturing God, you bring forth crops from the soil and bounty from the trees. Increase the produce of the land and bless all who toil in fields and orchards. Provide for good working conditions and keep them safe. Empowering God, you offer compassion for those who are overlooked or forgotten. Open the hearts of local, national, and world leaders to show such compassion and love for their neighbors. Help us, O oh Lord, to hear your word. Open our hearts to feel your word. Give us the strength to live your word each day. Sheltering God, in Jesus you traveled among us without a place to lay your head. Provide safe places to sleep and rest for those who have no place to live. Sustain ministries that offer food, clothing, and peace of mind. We pray especially for those listed on our prayer list and those we name now aloud or silently. Travis. Ted, Debbie, Jordan, Veronica, Eternal God, we thank you for the lives of those who have died. Make us confident in your promise of salvation and support us in our own journey of faith. Receive these prayers, O God, and those in our hearts known only to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Help us, O Lord, to hear your word. Open our hearts to feel your word. Give us the strength to live your word each day. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Let us share a sign of that peace with one another, whether it is with those you are physically gathered with and across technology. If we could do a sweep of the congregation, those of you who are present here, the camera is right under the TV. Share with those who are joining us on Zoom and Facebook and YouTube. Peace. Peace, peace, peace be with you. Peace, peace be, be with you all. God has gifted us with so many things, and we can use those gifts to do God's work in the world. One of those ways is through the ministries here at Grace. 
We give thanks to all of you who give regular gifts, who are our sustaining givers. Those of, us, those of you that are able to give a one-time gift, we give thanks for you just as much. There's information in our bulletin and on our website about how to financially support the ministries of the church. If you would like to get involved in other ways, please let me know. We would be happy to have you join us in being servants to all people. I invite Rich to pray our offering prayer. Let us pray. God of abundance, you cause streams to break forth in the desert and mana to rain from the heavens. Accept the gifts you have first given us. Unite them with the offering of our lives to nourish the world you love so dearly. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. If you haven't already, gather elements so that you might join us in celebrating the sacrament of Holy Communion, bread, wine, or grape juice. We begin with a great thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Holy God, our bread of life, our table and our food, you created a world in which all might be satisfied by your abundance. You dined with Abraham and Sarah, promising them life, and fed your people Israel with manna from heaven. You sent your son to eat with sinners and be, to become food for the world. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering, therefore, his life given for us and his rising from the grave, we await his coming again to share with us the everlasting feast. By your spirit, nurture and sustain us with this meal. Strengthen us to serve all in hunger and want. And by this bread and cup, make of us the body of your Son. Through him all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit and your Holy Church, both now and forever. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. All who hunger and thirst, come. The table is ready. Where you are gathered with others, I encourage you to serve one another. And if you are not able to gather with others and be served this day, hear my words as pure promise. The body of Christ given for you, the blood of Christ shed for you. We will sing our distribution song, One Bread, One Body, as we commune. The words will be projected on your screen, and our minister of music, Morgan, will lead us in singing.
one bread, one body, one Lord of all. One cup of blessing which we bless And we, through many, throughout the earth We are one body in this one, Lord Gentile or Jew, servants or free, woman or man, no more. One bread, one body, one Lord of all. One cup of blessing which we bless And we, through many, throughout the earth We are one body in this one, Lord Many the gifts, many the works, one in the Lord of all. One bread, one body, one Lord of all. One cup of blessing which we bless And we, though many, throughout the earth We are one body in this one, Lord Rain for the fields Scattered and grown Gathered to one For all One bread, one body One Lord of all one cup of blessing which we bless And we, as many, throughout the earth We are one body in this one, Lord Please stand as you are able. Let us pray. Lord of life, in the gift of your body and blood, you turn the crumbs of our faith into a feast of salvation. Send us forth into the world with shouts of joy, bearing witness to the abundance of your love in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. People of God, you are Christ's body, bringing new life to a suffering world. The Holy Trinity, one God, bless you now and forever. Amen. You may be seated for our announcements. I'm going to start with our schedule for the coming week, but if you are on Zoom and you have an announcement, I ask that you would put a note in the chat so that we know to call on you. Uh, 
Starting today, there will be no kids Sunday school today. We will hopefully resume next Sunday after worship on the playground, weather permitting. Tomorrow, the food pantry is closed and there will be no Monday Bible study, but there will be a preschool board meeting on Zoom at 5.30. Tuesday, there will be a council meeting on Zoom at 7 p.m. And Wednesday at 7 p.m., Bible study will continue on Zoom. Friday, the threaders will gather from 10 to noon. If you have any questions, please talk to Laquita Upperman. And then on Saturday, I'm assuming. Yes. I would like to invite, let's see, yep, there I am, hi. Uh, I would like to invite all the men uh, who'd like to come out and help us work at the church. We have breakfast at eight o'clock on Saturday morning, and then we'll be working around the church starting at 8.30. And they are open to guests joining them for breakfast. And then, if you don't want to do work around the church, you are welcome to join Caleb and I out on the playground for playground play date starting about 8.30 next Saturday. So join us for breakfast at 8 and either work around the church or playing on the playground at 8.30. And then next Sunday, we will gather again for worship starting at 9.45, followed by Kids Sunday School. And then I announce this now so that we all can um, lift it up in prayer. We will have six of our youth begin confirmation process next Sunday. Uh, so at 1 p.m. next Sunday, we, we will have our first confirmation class. We are gathering with Emmanuel Lutheran in Virginia Beach and Good Shepherd Lutheran in Virginia Beach uh, to do a joint confirmation program. So we will covet your prayers as we start on this new journey of education and growing in our faith. <laughs> do I have any other announcements in the sanctuary? Bob... Thank you, Bob. To summarize what he said, because we know we, uh, those joining us online can't always hear the announcements, our next blood drive is October 30th from 9 to 1. I'm looking for, yes, I'm getting that right because I'm not reading off a sheet. Thank you, Bob. Uh, you can uh, sign up on redcrossblood.org. The sponsor code is Grace Lutheran to find our drive in particular, but sharing the gift of life, a gift from God with others, um, wherever you do it, we encourage you to do it if you are able. And eligibility requirements have changed recently for uh, military members and their families. So check with the Red Cross to see if you are eligible. Any other announcements in the sanctuary? Anybody on Zoom, put it in the chat, unmute, wave around. I'm gonna scan through videos. We don't want to miss anybody. I'm not seeing anybody unmuted. I apologize if we have missed you. Last regular announcement that I want to make is that there are openings to help serve in worship as ushers, greeters, lectors, assisting ministers, tech hosts, and nursery attendants for the coming weeks. So go online and sign up to serve. If you have questions uh, or in want instructions about how to serve in any of those capacities, please let me know. A special thank you to Annabelle, who served as our lector today virtually. It was so good that you are able to join us. See, no other announcements. Let us stand as we are able and sing our sending song. 
It's hymn 1004 <laughs> from our new <laughs> hymnal supplement, All Creation Sings. What are you doing? <laughs> Faith begins by letting go, giving up what had seemed sure, taking risk and pressing on. Through the way feels less secure, pilgrimage both right and dot, trusting all our life to God. Faith endures by holding on, keeping memory's roots alive, so that hope may bear its fruit. Promised our souls will thrive, not through merit we possess, but by God's great faithfulness. Faith matures by reaching out, stretching minds, enlarging hearts, sharing struggles, living prayer, binding up the broken parts, till we find the common place, ripe with witness to God's grace. Go in peace. Christ is with you. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Thank you to all of you for joining us here in person, online, on Zoom, Facebook, or YouTube. Be sure to like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, rate us on Google. It all helps. The algorithms help people find us and hear the good news of God. See you next Sunday at 945.